For what local town, smartphones are on the agenda. News Channel 5's Molly Reynolds shows us how the technology is bringing a layer of transparency to local government never possible before. I'll see you in a while. Bye. Not that long ago, Wayne Siegel's job consisted of phone calls and press releases. But then this Boynton Beach Public Affairs director gave his career a full reboot. I had gone to a conference. I knew absolutely nothing about social media. And there was one session that I went to and somebody asked a question about Twitter. The city became the first municipality in Palm Beach County to use the social media site. It didn't take long before Boynton signed on to YouTube, Facebook, and the world of blogging. But it's this small black and white square that symbolizes the town's latest way of keeping up with the digital world. It's called a QR code. That's short for quick response. <laughs> Snap a photo and residents can receive on-demand information via their smartphone. Depending on where I place the code, I might want to take them to a specific page on the website. The cryptic codes are already plastered on flyers, brochures, and posters around town. Residents can also scan codes to learn more about the area's attractions. I just think it would be fabulous to walk down Ocean Avenue, you see a sculpture, there's the, or whatever the work happens to be, there's the QR code, and they can use their smartphone and um, learn more about what the piece is. Siegel thinks its uses are endless. I'll do whatever is necessary to try to reach out, encompass all the citizens. Now, of course, barcodes are not new, but they are becoming more popular with businesses as they find more ways to use them for promotional purposes. For more information on the app that you'll need to download, which is free, by the way, in order to scan those codes, just head to the Scene on 5 section of WPTV.com. Molly Reynolds, WPTV News Channel 5.